Zilong is a commander whose appearance is based off of the hero of the same name. He is available for 24,000 battle points or 499 diamonds. Zilong is the first commander in magic chess to have only one commander skill and so there is no need to purchase a skin to unlock the other skills. The skill is called the Great Dragon Spear. The skill Great Dragon Spear gives the player a special item of the same name which can be equipped on a hero of their choosing. The hero on which the item is equipped gets a 12% chance to launch two extra basic attacks on every basic attack, similar to the assassin synergy of the previous seasons. This isn't the best part of the skill, however. The efficiency of the item can be improved by purchasing a variety of special effects from the shop. Let's dive a little deeper into these special effects. There are a total of 8 different special effects which can be purchased and equipped on heroes. The Great Dragon Spear can hold a maximum of 4 special effects at once. These effects appear at random in the shop throughout the game and do not cost any gold to obtain. Instead, they reduce the cost of refreshing the shop when they appear. The 8 special effects available in the game are Draco Serenity, Dragon Revival, Dragon Snare, Dragon Vigilance, Flame Dragon, Frost Dragon, Golden Clutch and Great Dragon Guard all of which will be discussed in this video. Draco Serenity grants control immunity for 18 seconds and recovers HP equal to 10% of damage dealt. Dragon Revival increases magic power by 125 and each skill cast recovers 600 plus 60% magic power HP for the ally with the lowest HP. Dragon Snare increases physical attack by 15% and attack range by 2. Dragon Vigilance grants 85 physical and magic defense for 2 seconds with each skill cast. Flame Dragon increases magic power by 125 and summons the Flame Dragon after battle starts, which deals 400 plus 40% magic power true damage every 5 seconds to the enemy with the lowest HP. Frost Dragon freezes a random enemy for 1.5 seconds upon casting skills. Golden Clutch gives each basic attack a 2.5% chance to grant 1 gold. Great Dragon Shield generates a shield of 22% max HP when the HP is less than 30%. More information about each effect can be seen in the commander screen. Because you can only buy a maximum of 4 effects per game and more importantly cannot sell effects once obtained, it is imperative that you have a knowledge of the viable combinations of effects depending on which hero is the core hero. If an unwanted effect shows in the shop, it is okay to refresh the shop to keep trying until the required effect is obtained. It should be noted that while the Great Dragon Spear and its effects are very nice, they cannot be used to their full potential by every hero. The heroes that can take full advantage of the skill generally have one of these traits. High attack speed or a low mana requirement with an immediate skill cast. That is, a skill with effects that last less than one second, such as Eudora's skill or Alucard's skill. With these in mind, there are three combinations of special effects which can be used to varying degrees of efficiency by every hero. And these are skill-based magic DPS, skill-based melee heroes, and basic attack type heroes. The first combination of effects is geared towards enhancing the capabilities of heroes that rely on rapidly casting skills to do magic damage. The effects used are Draco Serenity for the sustain and CC immunity, Dragon Revival to heal allies, Flame Dragon to deal extra damage, and Frost Dragon for extra crowd control. The best heroes for this are Valentina, Selina, and Estes, who have a mana requirement of 75 for their first cast and 75 for subsequent casts. Elementalists with rapid fire skills like Eudora, Luo Yi, and Angela are also a good fit as even though they typically have mana requirements of 100, the Elementalist synergy makes it easy to recover mana and multicast. The next combination is geared towards making melee heroes that rely on skills able to play their role more efficiently. The combo is Draco Serenity for the sustain and immunity to crowd control, Dragon Vigilance to increase their physical and magic defense, Frost Dragon for extra crowd control and Great Dragon Shield to help them against burst damage. The best hero for this is Alucard as he has the lowest mana requirement in the game 
at 25 initial and 25 subsequent. Other good heroes for this are Lolita, Kaja, Tigreal and Akai, who all have 75 initial mana and 75 subsequent. It can typically be used for any tank or frontline hero, but to get the most effect, the ones with low mana requirements are recommended. The final combination is aimed at enhancing the capabilities of heroes that rely solely or majorly on their basic attacks. These are heroes whose skills generally enhance basic attacks as opposed to dealing damage to enemies. The combo is Draco Serenity for immunity to crowd control and extra sustain, Dragon Snare to increase the basic attack range, Golden Clutch to gain gold from basic attacks, and Great Dragon Shield to protect them from burst damage. The recommended heroes in this category include Zilong, Moskov, Mia, and Thamos. Any hero can fall under this category as long as they have a synergy or skill which increases their attack speed. It should be noted that the heroes I listed as recommended are not the only heroes that can be used. There are some however that I recommend not using. For example, Gord is not recommended as a skill based magic DPS as even though he has good synergies and falls under this category, his skill lasts 3 seconds during which he cannot recover mana. Vexana as well cannot recover mana while her guard is alive and Kufra cannot recover mana while in ball form. Now that we know the different combinations of effects and the heroes, here are some lineups which I recommend to harness the powers of this skill. Inferno Fiend Wrestler Weapon Master which is built around Thamos, Kadia Riverlands Lancer Wrestler which is built around Zilong, Mage Stun Quartermaster which is built around Selina and Valentina, Prince which is built around Moskov, Inferno Fiend Guardian Weapon Master and Inferno Fiend Elementalist Guardian which are built around Thamos and Tigreal respectively, and Weapon Master Aspirant's Quartermaster, which is built around Alucard. Now let's look at some tips and tricks to help you master this skill. It's a very simple skill to use as long as you know the combinations of effects you want to use. You can as well experiment with other combinations I didn't mention in this video. To get more effects, it is recommended that you refresh the shop a lot as this is the only direct way of getting the effects. Also ensure you do not buy the wrong effect as there is no way of recycling effects. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more magic chess guides. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.